What is going on guys? Welcome to NHL 19 unless you're watching this video later down the road and then it might be a couple months in but we are currently early access EA access NHL 19 here and we're going to be teaching you guys how to do all of the deeks at least I think it's all of the deeks all of the deeks in NHL 19 we're going to do the easy ones we're going to do the hard ones we're going to start with the easy ones we'll get to the hard ones I'm going to try to do my best to explain this to where if you're brand new to the game you understand how to do it and if you're more advanced the game you obviously you're still going to understand how to do it as well because I know that one of the first things I did when I picked up NHL for the first time was I got to try these deeks out right so let's go ahead and get this started so the first deek we're going to be doing here is the windmill nice and easy to start it off it is a one touch deek you just hold the stick in one direction either hold it to your right on your backhand or hold it to your left on your forehand and then you just hit the LB button and you click the stick to the opposite direction so if you're holding on your backhand you're holding it to your right you're going to click the stick directly to the left hitting lb at the same time simultaneously and you're going to complete that deke. keep in mind the tutorial at the bottom of the screen here i'm trying to do the best i can to explain where you put your thumbs at doing these deeks i do not show you hitting the lb button but pretty much every single one of these deeks you will have to hit the lb button and if you do not hit the lb button i will let you know but just assume whenever you're making that stick movement, the LB button must be pressed at the same time as well. Moving on to the jump deke is another nice and easy one. You're just going to hit LB and you're going to press up on the right stick, directly up on the right stick. Nice and easy. Just LB up on the right stick. Another easy one to do. Doesn't work too often, but it is a fancy one to try out there. And then finally, the last of the one touch deeks is the skate kick. You're going to hit LB and you're going to push directly down on your right stick. LB, L1. I'm sorry. I got to get PlayStation to custom here too. We're halfway through the video. LB and L1 down on your right stick is going to complete that skate kick. And now we're going to get into the toe drags. Before I do, I want to explain something real quick. And you're looking at the bottom of the screen like I mentioned before, if that is what you're looking at. The arrows. The green arrow is step one. Red arrow is step two. Teal would be the third arrow. There is not a lot of steps in most of these deeks, but the ones that do have a couple of steps, bear in mind that is the order they will be going in. Follow the first arrow, then go to the second arrow. Like I said, I'll try to explain it the best I can, but toe drags. First of all is the regular toe drag, which is just a regular forehand toe drag. You're going to hold the puck on your forehand, which is holding the puck to the left, holding it at nine o'clock, for example, if you'd like the times instead, holding the puck at nine o'clock, or you can curl it back, curl it down to about seven or six o'clock. Either way, then you go ahead and you rotate that stick to the right to about three o'clock and then you're going to complete that deking motion keep in mind this is not a click straight to the right you want to rotate it so if your stick is currently at nine o'clock you're going to rotate it all the way down eight seven six five four and then two three o'clock not from nine to three directly you got to rotate it and it will complete the deke same can be said about the reverse toe drag except instead of holding it at nine o'clock as a lefty you're going to hold it at three o'clock and you're gonna go from three o'clock all the way around rotate it to nine o'clock the reverse is quite frankly the reverse of the regular one figure out the regular one do the exact opposite for the reverse and you'll have it down pat very easily all right so next up is the datsuk flip one of the more fun deeks to do newly added a little bit more complicated and this is one of the few deeks you do not have to hit the lb button but what you're going to do is click in on the stick push it straight down directly to six o'clock you're going to go into this elongated toe drag position then you're going to hold rb and you're going to flip the puck over the goalie rb not lb like i said you won't be using lb you'll be using rb it's as if it's doing like a little attempted sauce from clear back there on a toe drag position but it's not really a sauce it's just a flip but use the sauce button which is rb so you're going to go like i said we'll redo it one more time click in the right stick directly and don't push it any directions click it in push it straight down to the six o'clock position and then you're going to hold down the rb button and do a little flip Make sure you're on the goalie, unless you're trying to be fancy and just trying to dead seek flip a defender, which I don't re recommend, but if you want to try it, be my guest. Do whatever you please. Makes you happy playing the game, right? And then along with the Datsuk flip is the Datsukian shot, which is quite simply the same exact motion, except instead of hitting RB, you're going to just shoot the puck like a regular shot. So you're going to fake shot, click in the right stick, straight down to six o'clock. And once you have the stick pulled all the way back in that long angle, you're just going to flick up on the right stick as if you was taking a shot from anywhere, quite frankly, as if you were just to replicate taking a regular wrist shot. And that will complete the Datsuk shot. Next up we got is the between the legs deke. It's a little bit easier than the Datsuk deke. Fun one to do regardless. The way you're going to go between the legs in general is you're just going to push in on the right stick, but you're going to hit LB at the same time. So remember, we didn't use that LB in the last deke, so we're going to use it this time. That is why you're, once again, going to be pushing in the right stick if you get confused by that. Once you have the right stick in, you got the between the legs motion in. If you want to get out of the between the legs motion, you quite simply just let go of the right stick and you let go of LB. But if you want to stay in the motion, you got to hold the buttons in. Once you're in that motion, like I said, right stick, LB, same time holding it in. In order to shoot it, you're just going to shoot it like a regular puck. Once again, you're in that motion, you're going to add the right stick flick up as if you were to go ahead and shoot that puck. And then for the between the legs pass, 
once again, you're going to put it between your legs, much like you did with the between your legs a shot, right stick LB, and then you're going to just right trigger. You're going to hit the right trigger button, and it's going to pass the puck left. It's going to pass the puck right. It's going to pass the puck forward. Depends if you want to pass the puck. Next up, we got the between the legs V2. I'm calling it V2 because it's still between the legs, so I don't know where else we want to call this one right here. But this is the one where you're literally going to deke the puck between your legs. You're not pulling your stick and everything between your legs. You're taking the puck only. And the main key here in focal point that you have to make sure you do, and even I mess it up a lot because I just do it too quickly and I'm not thinking when I do it, is you have to make sure you curl the stick back, step one, far enough behind your legs. So I'd say around the seven, eight o'clock-ish position at least. You'll see it in the video here how far you want you to curl that stick back, curling it straight back. You got to make sure you have it curled back far enough. And it's then where you're going to push that stick that you curled all the way back to that seven o'clock position. You're going to push it straight up to the 12 o'clock position. And you're going to hit LB at the same time. That is when you hit LB. Don't hit it at the beginning. Hit it in step two. When you're pushing up on that stick, you're going to LB. And it's going to go between the legs. It's a little bit tougher at the start. But once you figure it out, once you realize you have your stick has to be positioned far enough between your legs. Just keep in mind, like if you don't have your stick curled back behind your legs far enough, how can it go between your legs? So remember, if it's not working for you and having struggles, make sure you're looking that the stick is far enough behind your legs. And then, like I said, that is when you go ahead, you hit LB and you push up on the stick as if you were to drive that puck between your legs. The easiest way really to explain it is keep in mind if you're where do you want the puck to go, right? That is where you aim the stick. If you want the puck to go through your legs, you aim it between your legs. You want the puck to go behind your back, you aim it behind your back. Then we have the sweep deke. What you're going to do here is you're going to hold on your back hand. You're going to hit LB. You're going to go left, then you're going to go right, and you're going to come right back. So you're going to go three o'clock, six o'clock, back to three o'clock. You're going to start at three o'clock. You're going to hold an LB. You're going to go six o'clock, three o'clock. Oh, one too slow. You can't do it slow as well. If you go too slow, you're obviously going to go out there and you're going to do the window deke. So you're going to go hold LB, backhand, forehand, backhand, come back, grab the puck. There we are. Starting at three o'clock, directly to six, going back to three, holding LB in the entire time right there. Like I said, if you don't do it quick enough, you're going to go ahead, you're going to mess up, you're going to do the windmill deke. Just know if you do do the windmill deke, it's not a big deal. You'll practice it, you'll get better, you'll get used to it, you'll figure out what you're doing wrong. But just know you are doing the correct motion for the most part. You're just not doing it quick enough or you're not facing the right direction. Behind the back, this is one of the tougher dekes to complete in general, especially in a game. If you complete it in a game, you will be recording it and you'll be showing your buddies how you cone the defense on your other team. And the defender will probably not be very happy you just cone them with that between, behind the back deke. But here's what you got to do for the behind the back deke. Once again, it is just like the behind or between the legs. You have to pull the stick far enough behind your legs to where the puck can go behind you. It has to go even farther back than the between the legs one. I like to have it farther back than between the legs one if you can make it happen. And then instead of pushing straight up on the stick, you're going to click it straight to the right to the three o'clock position holding in that LB button once again. So when you have that puck stick all the way back to that 6.37 o'clock position, you're going to go straight to 3 o'clock. No rotation, just click it straight to the 3 o'clock position, holding LB down at that same time, clicking it to their 3 o'clock position. Once you're in that motion, though, know, you're not completed yet. You're going to want to click the stick up, aiming for that puck because the puck's going to be loose. What you're going to want to do is when you're in that 3 o'clock position, you're going to want to kind of push the stick up real quickly to the 1, 12 o'clock position, and your guy will kind of reach for that puck, tip it to himself, pick it up, and grab it that is probably the toughest part well actually it's, it's pretty tough in general if to be honest one of the toughest deeks because you have to get far enough behind your back you have to move it correctly behind your back and then you have to pick the puck up so it's a tough one if i'd say there's one for you to try that you want to be the hardest one or one to leave to the side this probably is the hardest deek to attempt in my opinion at least and then next up two easier deeks once again are the one-handed deeks the regular one-handed deek all you have to do is hold your stick on your forehand on your backhand so either three o'clock or six o'clock and then click LB and RB at the exact same time you're going to let go of that puck. It's not really that effective when you're in open ice unless, like I said, you gotta, you've got you been practicing for a while. Then you're probably going to try to properly one-hand that around a defenseman. Usually is a very successful, not really. Something fun to try in threes and ones, of course. That's how a lot of deeks are, though. You're not really going to use them competitively in sixes for the most part unless you're very, very skilled at the game. And even then, a lot of people won't deek because a lot of the deeks are just an instant turnover if somebody knows how to properly defend them. The one-handed shot is just like the one-handed deke, except for being an open ice. You're going to come in close to the goal and a crease, and then you're going to hit LBRB at the same time. When you're trying to one-handed shot, I will tell you this all the time, in case you did not notice in the video part, is make sure you're, if you're one-handing it on your backhand, you come into the right. If you're in your forehand, come into the left of the goalie because you're going to go one-handed the opposite direction you come in with the puck. So if you're holding the puck to the left, he's going to one-hand it on his right hand. If you're holding the puck on his right side, he's going to one-hand on his left hand. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. 
Otherwise, though, guys, that is all of the deeks. If I missed something you have questions on, please do let me know. If you did notice at the end of that video there, I was spinning around in circles. That is the spinorama. I didn't really include it. I don't really consider it a deke. I guess some people do consider it a deke, but it is just press left trigger and you will do a spinorama. So that is a pretty easy one to go ahead and pick up on as well. Otherwise, though, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.